Shalom, Yatarah, peace Israel. Give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Raka Kadash, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahusha, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahusha. Give double honors to the apostles and elders. They, um, they rule well, teach well, um, teach us truth and in truth and sincerity, and shalom to the hopeful elect out there teaching this truth and truth and sincerity. The topic today is going to be on, is the Lord about separation or division? Um, the Lord has always been about separation and division, starting from the very beginning. Um, we we'll start off in book of Genesis 1 verse 4. And God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from darkness. So right there it's telling you that you know he started off dividing the light with darkness. So that's just one that's one thing. And um, verse 5, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. So, Yahweh, he always been about division. You know, even when he started from the very beginning, creating creating the earth. It's all about division. Even when um, you think about in the sea, you, know, you got animals that live on the very bottom, and you got animals that live like whales and sharks. You know, they live more on the top of the water. And you got animals such as crabs, catfish, you know, they dwell at the bottom of the, they dwell at the bottom of the sea. And Verse six, and God said, let there, oh, sloppy, I read that. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. So you got animals that live in the water. And you got animals that dwell on the land, such as lions, tigers, um, dogs, cats. They can't, they can't live in the water. You got animals that only live in the water, such as sharks, crocodiles, fish. Them animals can't, can't live on land. So there's always been separation. And the separation is order. I'm gonna skip over to one and 18. And to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. So division is good. It's always been good. Um, I'm gonna go to Deuteronomy 32 and verse eight. When the Most High divided the two nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. So, from the very beginning, he separated, he separated nations. That's why when you, that's why you can tell it's, it's a distinction when you go from somebody that's white, like Esau, and you run into somebody that's a Moab. You can tell the difference between a Moab and a, and a so-called white man. Moab got, their eyes are slanted, you know, Um, in Deuteronomy 7, verse 6, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So, right there it's telling you that from the very beginning, Yahweh, he chose Israel to be over above all nations. 
So Israel is the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native and Cinema Indian. We above all people. And a lot of people want to say, oh, we equal, everybody's the same, we all bleed the same. But that's, that's not what Yahweh, that's not what how, Yahweh, that's not how he created us. He created us to be above all people. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, and verse 2. Thou art a hope, thou art, uh, for thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. And Yahweh by Hashem hath hath chosen thee to be a particular, a peculiar, I should say, peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. So we're a peculiar people, where that means um, chosen, and we're the children of Israel. Um, we above all nations upon the face of the earth. And like he said, uh, um, that it's a distinction when you look at us, and it's an evil. It's an even. It's even a physical distinction also. Um, and it says that in the book of Genesis, chapter. 25 verse 3 23 and Yahweh said unto her two nations are in thy womb this is um talking about um Abraham I mean um Isaac when he Isaac and um when Isaac and Rebecca if I'm not mistaken yeah Isaac and Rebecca they had um Rebecca really she had twins in her womb and it says, verse 23, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manners of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. The one people shall be stronger than the other. We already know um, that that's talking about the black Spanish and Native Americans. We, the black so-called Negroes, um, <clears throat> We run. We pretty much run major major sports, you know, um, like basketball, football, and pretty and I say baseball too. UFC and boxing. Um, yeah, we, we we run mostly all the sports because because the Edomites they they get entertainment off watching um, the chosen people fight, be athletic. They they get entertainment off watching us play sports. When was the last time I ever seen an Edomite running track? Or the 100 yard dash? Or the 200 yard dash? You got something? I got 2 Corinthians. Um, I got Matthew 10, verse 5. These, these 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. So Yahweh is commanding Yahweh Shai not, not to go preach unto the Gentiles and, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he telling Yahweh's commanding Yahweh Shah not to go preach the word unto the Gentiles. He telling him to go preach the, the word to the lost sheep of Israel. So that's division right there. You don't want Yahweh Shah wasting his time preaching the word unto the um the heathen. John 7 and verse 43. So there was a division among the people because of him. Who's the him he's talking about? He's talking about Yahweh Shai. And that same legacy is here today because you got, you got people that 
don't believe in Yahweh Shai, you got people that don't believe in Yahweh Shai, then you got people that do believe among the name. You got people that believe his name is Yahshua or Yahweh or Jesus. So that's still, that division is still here today. That only we can eat clean yolk is second country and six and fourteen. Second Corinthians chapter six and verse fourteen. Be ye not unequally unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have unrighteous like what for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light have light with darkness? And we the we the light, you know, so cause because as it says in Proverbs 6 and 23, the law is light. So, and the law is the statutes and commandments was given to Israel. So we are the light of the world. And it also says that in Matthew, ye are the light. Um, and we are the salt. That goes back to um, when we were saying that um, we, we um, uh, that the heathens, they enjoy watching us. They enjoy watching our entertainment because we the salt of the world. And the darkness goes out of other nations. The um, everybody that's outside, that's outside of the um, so-called Black Spanish and Native Americans, the Chinese, the Arab, the heathens. I mean, the Edomites, um, so-called white man. Those are all. Those are all darkness, and we have no fellowship with them because light doesn't mix with darkness. Yeah. And even still, though, with the um, mixing the unrighteous with righteous, that's talking about Israel, too. So you don't want to be unequally yoked with somebody that's in the world. A two -third, one of your two-third friends that you used to hang out with, you're supposed to be separate from them. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. See, we're not, we not supposed to, um, as it says in Titus 3 and 10, after the first and second admonition, after you tell them the first and second time about the truth and they reject, then you, you leave them be. So we're not supposed to keep casting um, our pearls, which is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, not supposed to cast our, our pearls to swine, to people that's unclean, and they want to um, they want to downsize you because you're telling them the truth. So we don't cast our pearls before swine, and that's also these heathen nations. When you're out teaching, um, you can tell them what's their judgment, but trying to teach them the laws and the statutes and commandments and expecting them to follow it, <clears throat> that doesn't that doesn't work. bring out um, Revelation 19 and verse 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire and his head his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew be he himself. So what he's talking about is that nobody's going to know his name besides the man that's that's of the elect. So that's going to, his name is a mystery unto everybody else. That's why you got people calling him Yahweh, I mean, Yahshua, Yahweh, Jehovah. No, because it's a mystery unto them, but the elect is a split image of Yahweh Shah in verse 13. And he was clothed with a vexed dripped in blood and his name is called the word of God. So his even though Yahweh is not living, walking around on this earth right now, his spirit is abided in this book. So this how this how you see Yahweh Shah through the book, through his word. 
and um, the Lord always symbolized division. Even back in the ancient days, you had some people that believed that he wasn't the prophet because he wasn't the prophet. And he, then you got other people like his disciples that believed that he was. So it's always been division, and it's always going to be division. bring out Psalm 40 and verse 7. Then said I lo come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. So that's telling you that this book this, if you want to seek Yahweh, Yahweh Shai it's in the volume of this book. So that's how you call, I mean that's how you abide in his words by by seeking the word that he wrote in his book. And his spirit is, is in this book. Uh, this is the book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So these words that that he, that, um, that was how shall I speaking? <clears throat> these words that he speak, they they are spirit. So this, these um, the Bible itself is a spirit. You know. It's the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I which I brought up from which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for your iniquities. See, that's why we in slavery, because we we that's why we're in slavery now, because we're getting punished for our iniquities, following other um, false gods, um, and following the ways of the heathen. And, it's, and it says, um, which I bought off of the land of Egypt, and if you know the Bible history, that, that we was in Egypt, the children of Israel was in Egypt, and, and he brought us up out of Egypt, and we was the only family that he knew on earth, so, so, um, so he doesn't, he's only dealing with Israel pretty much. And the part of our punishment is being here in America, which they call it the Great Melting Pot. Um, the Great Melting Pot is, you got all, you live, we live in, we live in amongst all the, these heathens. Which that goes against the scriptures. We're not. We're supposed to be holy. We're supposed to be separate. We're supposed to be. We're supposed to be separate away from these other nations. But in America, you got. We live amongst Arabs, Moabites. We live amongst the Esau, and all, all these heathen nations. They ruling over us. So that's another part of our of our punishment that we living amongst all these heathens and that's against the scriptures but that's a part of our judgment <clears throat> or I say that's a part of our um, punishment that's why you go to town you got little little um, little Italy Chinatown all that is against the scriptures 
We're supposed to be separate. We're supposed to be separate from them. We're not, we're not supposed to be living amongst them. Romans chapter 9 verse 11 for the children being not not yet born neither having done good or evil Romans chapter 9 verse 11 that the purpose of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai according to election might stand not of works but of him that calleth so they wasn't even born yet and it was already predestined of who he was going to choose um, verse 12 it was said unto her the elder shall serve the younger and um, and um, what's it called Esau he came out first Esau so called white man he came out first and Jacob the, um, the forefather the father of the twelve tribes of Israel he came out second and, and it says it, and it was said unto her the elder shall serve the younger so that hasn't happened yet. Um, so that's future prophecy. And it's verse 13, that is, is, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah? God forbid. So it's not unrighteous that, that he, has his, um, he has his favor. Division, division is order. And without division, then you know things we living in chaos, like America. Um, Ephesians chapter one verse five: Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to Himself, according to the good pleasure of His will. So it's His will, even for the um, for the hopeful elect. You know, it's it's His will. Who he already predestined. Uh, let me get another push up. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thee, uh, so I and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Right, so he already predestined us. We were already, we was already predestined to know this truth while we was in the womb. We just had to live out our life to the point where our, our um, awakening happened. And we was ordained to be prophets to the other nations. Prophets um, telling about future prophecies like Noah did um, before the flood. He was, he was warning everybody that that it was going to be, the land was going to be destroyed by water. <clears throat> That's saying with us now, us prophets, we prophesying the um, the destruction of America by a nuclear fire, and and Jacob's trouble is going to happen, phantoms, um, the RFID RFID chip is going to be um, forced upon forced upon us, um, but the elect won't take it. Close out. Um, Lord willing, Adawan Ratizai, he was edified. He was edified. Adawan Ratizai, that means Lord willing. Um, and we're going to give all praises. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Raka Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders that teach this truth and truth and sincerity and, and shalom to the Hopeful elect that's out there teaching the truth and the truth and sincerity and, and swallowing the whole world. Um, Shalom. Shalom.